a lot of you. I'm not getting my fix. I need my fix. I bet Kit Marlowe had a nice amusement. I will not murder me! Yes, I will. The strumpet. Making love and honeying over the nasty sty. Help! 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 Oh, sugar. A rat! Oh! I am slain! Silly old fool, he missed you. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm slain. See, I'm clutching my stomach and making gurgling noises. <clears throat> Looking for a safe place to land. How are we doing for time? I, I milked it for ten seconds. I can froth if you like. Oh. Get up. Oh. What's that you're wearing? A caftan. Say that again for me. A caftan. It doesn't suit you. How dare you? He who dares wins. Now, sir, to draw toward an end with you. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Well, that was quicker. You did the job for me. Does that mean I don't get the blame? I just think he died whilst inflicting upon himself a bizarre set of aerobics. <laughs> no, I, I, I think... We'll stick with the sword if you don't mind. I was never one for exercise. Enter Ophelia, catatonic. Probably a hangover. I think too much red the night before. They bore him bare faced on the beer. Hey, non nonny. Nonny, hey, nonny. And in his grave rain many a tear. Fare you well, my dove. And will he not come again? And will he not come again? No. No, he is dead. Go to thy deathbed. I, I can't. We, we missed the delivery. He's come back to the depot. He never will come again. He will? Look. He's gone. He is gone. And we cast away Mo. He will need a signature. God have mercy on his soul. Sensitive. Didn't once talk of our father. One thing's for sure, Hamlet. Whence it cometh from that place they call South Mims. That deathbed's for you. I thought it was Clackett Lane.
drowned. Where? There is a willow grows a scanter brook that shows his hoary leaves in the glassy stream. Is that the one they featured on that gardening program? No, back to nature celibate celebrity special. <laughs> a willow more than wet that day it needed therapy. <laughs> the presenter, I can't remember her name, big hair, 80s shoulder pads, flicked her mane, shimmied into frame seductively, stood astride his trunk and splayed her lips over one of his knobbly bits. <laughs> the cameraman refused point blank to go in for a close up, said that such a sight would shatter his priceless lens. What happened? She was sectioned. What people will do in the name of TV. Sorry, I got carried away there. Hamlet's madness is catching. <laughs> I'll deliver the speech properly. I'm glad to hear it. Her shoes abandoned by the willow. With fantastic garlands, Ophelia came. She in the weeping brook. Her clothes spread wide, and mermaid-like a while they bore her up, which time she chanted snatches of old tunes, as one incapable of her own distress, or like some creature, native and endued unto that element, but long it could not be, till that her garments, heavy with their drink, pulled the poor wretch from her melodious lay to muddy death, too much water, hast thou poor Ophelia. And therefore I forbid my tears. Where are her shoes? I stuck them on eBay. Let shame say what it will. When these tears are gone, the woman will be out. There's a nice cocktail dress in the wardrobe. Don't forget to remove the reduced sticker. Computer, will you stop putting your oar in? Master Shakespeare and I are trying to concoct a sensible story. I want that slinky number. Mm. <laughs> you want me in. <laughs> Meantime, whilst Ophelia's funeral is in preparation, enter Hamlet and Horatio. Just in case you're wondering, where Horatio has been, all I can say is nicotine is very addictive. The pair stumble upon an old grave digger. Excuse me? <sighs> well, she only thinks she is. She's actually an amateur archaeologist. <laughs> Shut the up. public footpath through her back garden is a particular bête noir of hers. She has to keep people away somehow. To contract to the time or am I behold? I me thought there was nothing in me. <clears throat> Ancient Doxy. One word, mate. You just called her a prostitute. Two young shavers out for a bit of mischief. You look exhausted. Just doing me job. Oh, that's better. Painkillers are kicking in. How long hast thou been a grave maker? Of all the days in the year, I came to it that day that our last King Hamlet overcame Fort in Brass. How long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that. Obviously not the sharpest tool in the box. <laughs> It was that very day that young Hamlet was born, about 30 years. He that is mad and was sent to England. Why was he sent into England? We won't bother with that bit. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern already have an entire play written about them. We don't want to enlarge their egos any further. But just to recap, Fearful that Hamlet might reveal his villainy, Claudius dispatches him to England with two old school friends, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, and a letter to the English king to request that Hamlet be put to death. Hamlet routs the plan and punishes the instruments of it. Yes, it is with certainty we can say, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. 
Hamlet was sent to England because he was mad. He shall recover his wits there. How came he mad? Very strangely, they say. Though some say he was putting it on and that he was an attention seeker. How strangely came he mad? I've decided. She's a serial killer. This strangely, ha! Stop interfering. I can do what I like. Carry on. I've only ever had a small part, so now I'm enlarging it. He went mad because he lost his wits and went on a killing spree. It was hardly a spree. I'm the only sane one alive. <laughs> Psychotic, but in love. A touch of Romeo and Juliet. Come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail the exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in your sight. I pray you, sir, do not fall in love with me, for I am falser than vows made in wine. Oh, here's a skull now. This skull has lain in the earth three and twenty years. An early example of my collection. I was 18 then. 41 now. Spade was taller than me. Mind you, I stopped smoking and then I just shot up. <laughs> Sir, this skull was Yorick's skull, the King's Jester. Poor Yorick. I, I knew him well. God, misquote of the century. It was... Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio! You always did have to have the last word, chatterbox. I think we'd better leave quietly, about the way we came. <laughs> Laertes, resolute and rock-solid in his intent, resolves to fight Hamlet to avenge the death of his father and sister. Claudius grasps the chance and lends Laertes his support, urging him in the venture. Spineless opportunist. I don't want to do this. I regret to inform you that you have no choice. Receive the hourglass next to you. I turn it over, the sand gets to the bottom, and you... Well, you cease to exist. Computer, turn the hourglass. This action is not permitted. I am in charge now. You need me. Computer. Without me you have no future. I am and will always be the conduit. Stupid machine. You are nothing without me. You need me. I bake the pies round here. And I've eaten them all. I hate to break up this fascinating philosophical debate, but can I go home? You don't have a home. You're a fictional character. That's a bit cruel. You don't exist. Turn that glass, oh pie master. We don't want them to burn now, do we? Good idea. Turning glass. Can't believe I just did that. Shakespeare. Shakespeare, we need to wind him up. Where were we? I don't believe any of this. 
You don't exist. We're all in here. Your beliefs won't save you. You will lose this wager, my lord. I do not think so. Since he's been in France, I've been in continual practice. I shall win at the odds. Good, my lord. I'll be there by your side. I touched his hand. Sir, I've done you wrong, but pardoned as you are a gentleman. What I have done that might your nature, honour and exception roughly awake, I here proclaim was madness. But I've shot mine arrow o'er the house and hurt my brother. I do receive your offered love, like love, and offer you this book of presentation packs for my very own collection. No! A fine set of mint, unused stamps with four perfect margins. I embrace it freely. And will this brother's wager frankly play? Fifty quid the lot. That's a bargain! <clears throat> you don't get away that easily, Gertrude. Give them the pistols. Post haste. God, awful pun. <laughs> Cousin Hamlet, you know the wager. Move out two paces from each other. Turn around. And on my command. Strike. One. No. Judgment. A load of fuss about nothing. It's only water. <laughs> Big girl blouses. <laughs> I wish it was. Give me drink. Get on with it! I haven't got eternity! Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thy health. Anyone fancy a bicky? Build up your energy. New improved recipe. Thank you. Share them out, but save the crust of cream for me. Ophelia was sick over the bag earlier, but the ones at the bottom should be okay. Mop thy brows. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Hamlet. Do not drink, I will, drink. my lord. I pray you pardon me. It is the poison cup. It is too late. My lord, I'll hit him now. I do not think it. It is almost against my conscience. Come, Laertes, you but daddy. I pray you, pass with your best violence. I'm afraid you may not want to look me. Say you so. Come Have it you now. <laughs> I've never used one of these before.
There's more to come. If you'll miss the best bit. I, I want to st stay. Don't go yet. I drink on my dear Hamlet. Drink. Drink, I'm poisoned. Can I have your custard cream? It is here, Hamlet. Hamlet, thou art slain. No medicine in the world can do thee good. In thee there is not half an hour of life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbated and envenomed. The foul practice hath turned itself on me. Here I lie to rise again. Thy mother's poison. I can no more. The king. The king's to blame. Then venom. Do thy work. Insurance companies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I miss anything? Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's death come not upon me. yet some liquor left. What flavour is it? Rum. Rum and coke. With a... with a... twist of lime. Give it me. By heaven I'll have it. Thou didst ever hold me in thy heart. Absent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. I can't. I missed the beginning of the scene. I was on the phone. Uh, can you rewind a bit? Potion poison quite outgrows my spirit. I always said you shouldn't mix your spirits. You could counsel, Horatio. I cannot live to hear the news from England. But I do prophesy that the election lights on Fort Embrace. He hath my dying voice. So tell him, with the occurrence, Well, there we are, and they all lived happily.
happily ever after. Though I'm a bit dubious about the company you keep, Master Shakespeare. Then out boffing and bludgeoning again to that merry loot. Clubbing, I believe you'll find. Well, scrub the rum and coke, I think that's a silly suggestion. I, I think I'll, I'll put Gertrude on the house red. Do what you like. Look. The last few grains. It's all over. What a short but amazing life. Oh, I forgot to return that book to Machiavelli. Uh, renew it for me, would you please? For eternity. I'll have to splodge of jam on page 83. I hope he doesn't mind. What was that? We are such stuff as dreams are made of. Misquote. I, I, I haven't written that yet. Oh, but thanks. I think I'll set myself a reminder to do that. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble to you. And now the play's finished, I think there may be some amendments due. Oh, but next time, please be kinder to my leading character. Hmm? Now cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. You may have won, but you cannot and will not claim his sanity. Hamlet, my gift to you, this burden upon your head, you shall forever and henceforth be released from. Okay, so we're at the Throne of Shadows, Hamlet, DNM scene, take two. <laughs> and one more. Wait for this ornithopter up there. Mm -hmm. We've only got one tea bag and that's, left, yes. and that's super glue. And that's glue. super glue to the washing yeah, machine, yes. <laughs> 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 Hello. Sorry about that. <laughs>